Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Soap Queen TV and Brambleberry.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make these amazing candy soaps. I know they look good enough to eat, but please don't. They're non toxic, but you might get a stomach ache if you do. Also, today we're going to be using Vanilla Color Stabilizer. If you don't remember Vanilla Color Stabilizer, refer to episode 7. Let's get started. step to making these candy soaps is to melt white soap in the microwave to make our swirls. Now that our white soap is melted, it's time to add vanilla color stabilizer and fragrance oil. Today, I'm going to be using Hello Sweet Thing. It's a wonderful fragrance that smells like vanilla, cake, and lemon. It's delicious and perfect for this. Now that our soap is fragranced and has vanilla color stabilizer in it, it's time to pour into the Milky Way round molds. You want to make sure that you don't pour all the way full. Go ahead and pour into the round molds. Make sure you're only pouring about a quarter of an inch thick or less. Spritz with alcohol to remove any last bubbles. Allow the soap to harden and don't place it in the refrigerator or freezer. Now that the soap is hard, go ahead and pop it out of the molds. I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife to cut my swirls out, but you can use a paring knife or any small knife so long as it doesn't have serrated edges. Mark the center of your soap with your knife. Then, from the inside out and start cutting. Remember, the more curved you get, the more realistic your swirls look. Cut slowly though, we wouldn't want anybody to accidentally hurt themselves. Now that you've cut out every single one of your swirls from your Milky Way round white soaps, it's time to do a little test. Place your swirls into the bottom of your soap molds. You want to make sure that each swirl looks exactly the way you want it before you get started with the melt and pour process. Now, melt around one to three ounces of clear soap in the microwave. You don't fragrance or color or put vanilla color stabilizer in this at all. Now that the clear soap is melted, there's two ways to go about doing your first clear layer. First, you can take out the swirls that you've already placed. Go ahead and pour the clear soap, spritz liberally with alcohol, spritz your swirls with alcohol as well to make sure that the layers adhere to each other. Then carefully place them. Or you can pour the clear soap in and around the white pieces of swirl that you've already placed. Then lift up the white swirls and spray with alcohol to make sure there's a clear layer of soap that keeps and bonds the white swirls down into the soap. Allow this layer to set for at least three to five minutes. While this is setting though, go ahead and make your background colored soap. Melt your clear soap in the microwave. Once your soap is melted, add your fragrance, add your vanilla color stabilizer, and add a non-bleeding color. For this soap, I'm using Red Blue Mica. Now that the soap has been colored, fragranced, and has vanilla color stabilizer in it, it's ready to pour that final layer. Spritz your soaps liberally with rubbing alcohol. Pour gently over the soaps. Make sure your temperature is around 130 or below. Anything above 130, or if the soap is boiling or steaming, you could accidentally melt your carefully cut out white swirls. That'd be a pretty bar of soap, but it's not what you're looking for. Wait three to four hours to pop your soap out. If you'd like it to look extra special and candy-like, wrap it with either clear plastic wrap and secure it with baker's string, or you can use any beautifully shimmery cellophane, which you can get in most craft stores. Thanks so much for joining me on Soap Queen TV as I taught you how to make cool candy soaps. I love to make candy soaps and anything food-like. If you've ever visited SoapQueen.com, you know that bath bomb cupcakes are one of my favorite things to make and I've done strawberry shortcake soaps as well. Is there anything you'd like me to make? I'd be happy to do it for you in a future episode. Just comment below and tell me what you'd like to see me do on Soap Queen TV. Next week, I'll be showing you how to use water-soluble paper to personalize any bar of soap. Until then, happy soaping!
we showed this. Wait three to four hours to pop the soap out. If you'd like to make it look extra candy-like, go ahead and take some clear plastic wrap and wrap it around the soap like this and then tie it with either a ribbon or a cute thing. Like this is, I think, dental floss, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dental floss. 